Oops, I'm blonde. Um, that happened. I'm a different person now. <laughs> Cutie patootie. I don't know. The cats are feeling something right now. Hi! I haven't filmed a video in a really long time, and uh, especially not one of my face. So, hello. This is me. I'm Sarah, but I'm the new and improved blonde Sarah. Kinda cute. I wanna put colors in it. Undo purple. Can you imagine? I do lavender. <gasps> I wanna paint a self portrait, and you should do it too. I haven't painted a portrait in a hot second. Let me show you. This is what I looked like last time I painted a self portrait. something not fake happy um, which brings me to one of my points is that I'm not a very happy person all the time and uh, it's time to be honest about that on the internet I am very sad a lot of the time I have been depressed I cried a lot last night you get it you get me okay I'm figuring my emotions out uh, so that's what the self portrait's gonna do. I was gonna be like, ooh, I'm gonna do like a little cute, like, with a, with a, like, a little coat and some flowers. No! <laughs> no, we're gonna try to make it ugly. Not ugly on purpose, but I'm not gonna sit there being like, oh, does this look perfect? I'm gonna try to paint the way that I used to sometimes draw. When I was, again, depressed, I used to exp I just look at my art when it was sad looking. That's when I was sad. So, we're gonna do that today. Um, I'm not sad, but like depressed. <laughs> I'm a functional depressed person. There's a term for that. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I know that I will thumbnail first so that I can have a good idea what I want to paint and then I'll decide what medium I want to work in, either watercolors or oils. I'd like to work in oils but they get really messy. We have a word from our sponsor which is Skillshare, aka the best sponsors ever, quite literally. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. If you're interested in classes like illustration, animation, design, photography, entrepreneurship, and more, there is thousands of different classes taught by professionals in the field. Classes are a combination of class projects with the video lesson, so you can submit your class project to the instructor of the class and they can give you feedback on your work. It's a great way to get one-on-one -on -one feedback with somebody who really does know what they're talking about. And Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and skill level with most classes being under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit whatever time frame you are looking for. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. If you're interested in a class that I recommend, I would let you know about this one class, Artivism, Creating Inspiring Art for Change by Nicholas Smith, since it kind of ties into the topic of today's video of using art to communicate and to express yourself in a much deeper way. This class is about using art to affect change inside and out and to combine your art and your voice in powerful ways. But if you're interested in Skillshare, the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get 30% off annual premium membership so that you can explore your creativity. If you've already done a free trial of Skillshare with my code or somebody else's code, you can still take advantage of this offer so there's no reason to not do so. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring me again. They are the best so inspiring and such a good resource for creatives Here's, oh my god there's a lot of sassy coming out you're probably like oh <laughs> Sarah's not like that but the thing is Sarah is like that I'm a very sad person and I am functioning pretty effectively I mean kind of <laughs> I would say 60% uh, and I'm working through a lot of stuff so I don't want to I want to be more personal on my channel and also like honest about the way that I feel about things which might not be a big deal to some people but I also feel like what if you're in the exact same boat that I was or that I am and you don't have anybody talking about how they feel or what they're learning so can't hurt <laughs> Uh, there's still all of my educational videos if you're interested in those They're all on my channel and I'm not saying I'm gonna stop making them But I want to make a chill video every once in a while talking about myself and my personality and 
uh, I like watching YouTubers like their faces and getting to know them and uh, I would assume that you would as well but this is me looking different I'm blonde now Oh my god, my eye hurts. Okay. Come on, let's draw. Let's thumbnail on what I would like for this painting to look like. So there's my face. There's my hair. You improve if you have to celebrate the hair. Um, maybe like a profile of my fingers smushed in my face. I like the sweater I'm wearing. I like that it has holes in it. Maybe like this way. Maybe very symmetrical, very close up. My hair. Maybe upward angle. Me looking down. My, like my throat doing the thing, you know? And slouched. Maybe a profile, because I've never done a profile before of my face, because I hate my profile, but that's a point of like what insecurity that I would like to address at some point. So I think everybody hates their profile. I don't, no, I don't hate it, hate it. I don't think it looks prime all the time. But to be honest, it's not like I love my face so much. So it's not like me saying like, oh, I don't love my profile. It's not like I'm saying, but I love everything else, you know? I think the way I feel about my profile is the same as I feel about everything else. That may be fun, um, but this is boring. <laughs> These are just things of my face. What do I what do I add to them to make them interesting? I could do like a hand, my hand, holding them. But that's like so freaking basic. It's not sad. Oh, but if I have myself crying into the bouquet and the bouquet is like wet for my tears. For the sake of this being almost a little bit tutorially, I am going to say I will be using my phone. Look at my cute case, by the way. It's from Case Defy. I will be using my phone and a little phone clicker remote. You can just click the 10 second timer on your phone if you want to. But for the sake of that and not using a DSLR, so that if you want to somehow paint at home, paint your own portrait at home, ideate with me, you can. And you can use your phone if you want to use a soft timer, use buy a little clicker on Amazon. Come along this journey with me, paint something yourself. Dye your hair blonde. I'm using this gooseneck clamp right here. I use this for whenever I want to record reels or TikToks or, um, you know, realistically just live streams. Oh, do you want to get it? I'm for just holding my phone. So that's what I use this gooseneck clamp for. Um, but I'm just going to use it as my tripod. So if you want to grab one, they're like 20 bucks off of Amazon. I'm going to reference Amazon a lot because internationally it does actually uh, ship to a ton of people. I decided to use either this photo, this photo, or, or this photo. If you're noticing that you're at an angle and kind of wobbly right now, it's because I snapped my tripod in half um, like two seconds after I stopped recording and then I tried to hot glue together, which didn't work, um, but then I taped it. So we're taped. <laughs> There's not a lot of interest going on. I'm not holding any props or anything specifically. I really do think I want to uh, take, draw this one. Spit a little. Uh, so my plan is to draw it with colored pencils. 
But the thing is, I don't know where my pencil sharpener is. I have one that broke and then I don't know where my manual one is. So I have enough colored pencils to hopefully be able to, you know, when one goes really dull, just use another one. <laughs> so we will see how that goes. Another thing I've been realizing, well, I've been going to counseling and I've been analyzing why I feel the way that I feel towards specific people, specific people that do specific things and um, why I dislike girls so much. I mean, I've always, you know, been like, I'm not like other girls' girls and that's, I've always been aware that I feel that way, which is not good. I know it's not good, but um, recently I've been trying to self-reflect more about why I feel that way. Jealousy in a sense of feeling insecure about the way that I look and feeling that I'm not going to be good enough and um, like attractive enough and so I've you know really relied on my brain and my intelligence and I can call girls that do care about their appearance I can say that they are dumb <laughs> the girls that are like dye their hair blonde or stupid and like I've always been like, I'm not like them, you know? And I've always made fun of girls that are blonde and I've been thinking about that more and I'm like, I recognize that's a toxic way to think of others. I shouldn't be judging girls just based on the fact that they want to be attractive. It's internalized misogyny because in my brain, a lot of times I've thought like, oh, that girl is just doing it for attention or just doing it to, to be more attractive towards men. But that's such a toxic way to think of women is like the only way that, like any interest that a woman has is only to please a man. That's so <laughs> wrong to think of. And I know that I'm not like dyeing my hair so that I um, am more attractive for any man. So I've been, me dyeing my hair blonde has been a step of like, not even being like, oh, I love this aesthetic look. I mean, I definitely want to um, go crazy with my hair, do pinks and purples and maybe blues. So I want to, um, be like, you know what? I'm not, not like other girls. Like we're all unique. <laughs> like no girl's gonna be like me and I'm not gonna be like any girl. And that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing, you know, not I, um, isolating myself from people as I've done before in the past and trying to find people who value me and um, aren't the toxic relationships that I've experienced in the past with relationships and friends. I've been conditioned to look at people and judge them based on their appearances and to, think of myself as better than them and I have an insecurity that somebody else is going to do the same for me, which is not not true. Like, I mean, if it is true, it's not okay. It's not correct. It wasn't correct when I was doing it. It's not correct when somebody else is going to be doing it. So I'm trying to realize it doesn't matter. Like my hair color doesn't matter. Having my nails done doesn't matter. I mean, what matters is that I'm a good, kind person. I'm not really sure on my channel how far I need to be going with these topics, like how much I should talk about my personal life and how much I should stray from just doing tutorials. But I, I just wanted to share that. And I just wanna, <laughs> at some point, be confident in talking about myself and not feel like if I make a video about myself, I'm being vain or not feel so awkward and out of place when I do talk about myself. Uh, I really enjoy seeing other creators and seeing them talk about themselves and what they're learning, what their interests are, and I definitely know that uh, you guys are the exact same way with me. I mean, <laughs> I'm not, again, I always feel like I need to justify myself. I was just about to say, like, I'm not trying to say I'm this and that, but um, I really need to learn the difference between like humility and meekness and like a weakness and insecurity because I don't think there's anything wrong with being. I've been learning, <laughs> not that I don't think, I've been learning there's nothing wrong with being confident in yourself um, and open about yourself and your abilities and good qualities without being proud. Um, so I'm trying to find a balance and I, I also know that it would be beneficial for me to talk about some of my experiences like personally um, because I have learned a lot and I'm growing a lot and um, some stuff that I've learned in the past couple of months are things that nobody ever told me. I've really buried away a lot of traumatic experiences and um, felt that if I 
you know, think about them or speak about them or try to address them that I'm um, a troublemaker or not being respectful. Um, and that's just not the case. And there's a lot of trauma that I've experienced that I am now dealing with. So a lot of the past couple of weeks, my counselor told me that I need to let myself experience grief first. So if I feel like a, a sentiment coming along, like a negative feeling from my past, you know, triggered by a, a sound or conversation or a smell, to not push it down the way that I always do is to just let myself feel it and cry in that moment and address it. Um, and then once it's flown over me and I've experienced it, to let it go for that moment. And that's what I've been doing. I've been, instead of sitting there, you know, suppressing crying and being like, get over it, you're fine. I've been like, you know what? It's okay to cry about something. Um, which has been inconvenient for a couple of people in my life, I think. But I mean, not that they've said anything about it, but I'm also letting myself quote unquote burden other people and letting them show me kindness, which is something that I would never have done before. I feel like if I speak about my problems or like insecurities or depression to others, um, after a certain extent, it's a bother and like superfluous, like it's not important. And it's some, I've been really trying hard to, not trying hard, I've been accepting love and kindness from people the way that I know that I treat others when somebody comes, like talks to me about something that they're struggling with. When this new year started, I had um, kind of told myself that this was gonna be the year that I did things I really wanted to do and um, like improved myself. So I started counseling. I got more piercings, I dyed my hair, I got two tattoos, like things that I just really wanted to do and then never did because I was like, I was scared of what people might think. I was scared of what my family would think and like, I finally realized it's not, people are gonna think what they wanna think, like whatever the case is. Pleasing people that are not going to still value me even when I do want to, to make those changes because there are things that I've wanted to for since I was a teenager, since I was like, since I was a young teenager, you know, they're not things that are just a fad or something that is toxic for me. There are things that I've, were really part of my personality and um, I wanted to, I wanted for a really long time. And like at the end of the day, everybody has their own life. That one person can do whatever they want with the, the, their own life and live the way that they want to, you know, and if it gives them happiness, that's what matters. They don't end their day with me and I don't end their day, my day with them. So why care so much about their opinion and what they think? I want to do more things that make me, me. I love colored pencils because it's one of the only times I feel like I can truly experiment. Make something for myself. I often feel trapped in a bubble of like, oh, I need to be, always be creating something that I can sell. It's hard because this, I don't have like a gap or anything contrary my teeth cross over I used to have braces to fix that but um, I stopped wearing my retainers and my teeth went back to to this which I'm like accepting <laughs> which is fine I'm like trying to be like who cares <laughs> they're just teeth um, so I don't know if that's the best representation with colored pencil you really can't erase either which is Kind of sucky, but it looks pretty similar to what I look like. It looks gnarly, that's okay. I can just like go in and do that. Do you think this is a really pretty photo? Um, and I would like actually paint it in oils sometime, but um, I knew this, this wasn't the moment to do that for me right now. I just felt like picking up my colored pencils.
Like, look at how much prettier the actual photo is. Whoop! It's mine. I don't want to draw these hands anymore. Ah, uh, I always do this. Do I have to? Do I have to? I'm the only one making myself do this, but do I have to? This is becoming like a little bit poopy. Wait, but I, I said at the beginning, the, the outcome doesn't matter. It's just the creative process. It's like I'm focusing on drawing this hand, so I'm like worried that it's not gonna be good. Calm down. Take a chill pill. Bring some of that purple up here, probably. finished my self-portrait. Does it look like me? I really like the way it turned out. I was getting frustrated with some parts of it until I figured out um, I'm the actual creator and the boss of this and it is a self-portrait and I'm not selling it and I'm not putting it anywhere. I just need to put my emotions in it. So that's what I did. Um, I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. The hand is really big but also I think it looks very cool because it kind of looks like a monster hand but I think it's very cool and I really like the looseness that I ended up having right at the end. Uh, I am trying to work through this last semester of school and trying to look at art as therapy once again instead of just thinking of it as my job. So this was a very good experience for me to be able to let myself let go again and to put the way that I feel on paper and also to uh, tell address, address to you guys the way that I have been feeling as of late. I keep my personal life a lot out of my videos and I don't know if that's exactly what I need to be doing. I have influence whether I'd like to admit it or not and I want to be some sort of help for you. Um, <laughs> once I finish and graduate college, I will be able to say some things that I don't feel at liberty to say right now because maybe they'll get me from get graduating. I just want to be more authentic with you guys. But I am very thankful if you are still here and <laughs> you drew with me. If you drew a self-portrait, let me know. Um, if, or if you drew at all, if this was a good video for you. But 
Let me know if you want to see more videos like this with my face. More chill, less structured, less I'm going to make a final beautiful painting. But until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video because you know they be the best. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.